Right now, it's celebrity sleaze. My social media feed has been flooded outside of, uh, you know, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, been flooded with videos of the sphere, you yep. two. Everywhere. It's unbelievable because, you know, it opened up over the weekend. But I didn't realize that it can also hold film screenings. Oh, yeah. They're going to do Darren Aronofsky's postcards from Earth on Friday. And did you see that real-life eyeball that was projecting all over the city of Vegas? It kind of freaked out some tourists, but... Barnes, how much do you think the sphere cost? Uh, two billion, I think. Yeah, two point three billion. Capacity eighteen thousand. I'm just setting you up because you're about to go there in a few days, okay? Five hundred and eighty thousand square foot exterior. It's unbelievable. Hundred and sixty thousand square feet LED screen, which you can kind of see on some of the videos people are showing, but nowhere possible unless you're there in person, right? No, follow me, please, because I'm going to put all that. 167,000 speakers? That's, and there's speakers in the seats. Individual seats for the immersive sound. But I am hearing there could be a sibling arriving in the UK. That's what uh, James Dolan, the mastermind, told Variety. So there may be one coming in the UK. Who's next? Hints of maybe Harry Styles, but nothing right now concrete. They also talked about fish. And they talked about, what was the other one? There was another big one that was rumored. A lot of rumors right now, but nothing is absolute. What do you think about this? Liam Gallagher wants to embark on a major stadium tour to mark the 30th anniversary of the first Oasis album, with or without his brother, Noel. He's going to reunite with guitarist Bonehead Paul Arthurs for next summer's show, seriously playing stadiums, playing every track from 1994's Definitely Maybe, And, of course, greatest hits adjacent to that. Now, a source close to Liam revealed he had committed himself to the tour. And while the door would be open for Noel to join, that possibility is still a long way off because there's a lot of personal issues that need to be resolved. Well, I like this, though, because he's forcing his hand. I mean, he really is now forcing his hand. Either he's going to make up and he's going to do it. Or else it's brilliant marketing, and they're just pushing everyone to, to follow the drama, and then they're going to, at the end, say yes. I don't see him not doing it. He's got to do I would it. Go, I would seriously go to a stadium tour, even if it was just one brother, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. It's just, oh, then. But, I mean, I think I need the whole <laughs> I need the whole thing just to feel like it's for real. Otherwise, it's just kind of a money grab. I love listening and reading about tour riders. Now, this was just released. You know, Springsteen had to cancel a bunch of shows because of his ulcer. But uh, a 37-page document was just revealed, comprising of more than 100 specific requests for the boss and the tour writer. I seriously love this. When he's on the road, Bruce himself asks for chicken soup with lots of broth. It's being healthy, right? After the gig, he wants 16 cold, fresh shrimp. With homemade seafood sauce. Okay. Two bags of rolled gold pretzels with no substitutions. He also requires a hand-squeezed 16-ounce bottle of lemon juice, a blender, toaster, and electric kettle, as well as six hard-boiled eggs with the yolks removed, peeled and sliced apples, cubed watermelon, four bottles each of Congo pear, Costa Rica clementine, and Kula watermelon drinks. That's just part of it. A lot going on there. It's tough being a rock star. It is tough being a rock star. And, you know, then it goes into how many SUVs. But I loved this. The band and crew need 408 towels, 21 couches, 27 floor, dimmable floor lamps, and 15 table lamps, 16 potted, non-flowering plants, three large and three small refrigerators, 47 padded chairs, nine wheeled office chairs, and seven full-length mirrors. We should do a Morning X rider. What would be on our Morning X rider? I mean, money. What? Barnes. (laughs) Let's just cut to the chase. I don't need lime juice and clementines. Just give me some cash. (laughs) Oh, another uh, farewell tour now completely canceled. You know, Aerosmith had to cancel a bunch of shows because, you know, Steven Tyler's sick. He's got an issue with his vocal cords. He was bleeding. And now they're having to cancel everything in 2023. You know how much money that's going to cost? That's crazy. 
I thought them saying a month, the dude had bleeding vocal cords. That month is not going to be good enough. Also postponing, porno for pyros, Ooh. postponing their 30th anniversary tour because they're releasing new music and they want fans to become familiar with it before their shows. Why didn't they think about that yeah, that's, before they announced the tour? What? That's a weird excuse. S- super weird. Um, well, the Super Bowl may have Usher, but the Canadian Football League has tapped Green Day to play the halftime show of their championship <laughs> game, which is called the Grey Cup. Canada wins again. I love that. Okay, you know I have to bring up Taylor Swift being at the game again and Travis Kelsey because my social media uh, was all flooded with that. Hugging the mom, bringing her famous friends. It's everywhere. They Didn't they see her one, that leaving her apartment or his apartment or something? He was seen leaving her apartment. Her apartment. Damn, bro, yes. he's making the move fast. He's, he's rising up. Unbelievable. Um, we know there's new Stones music and it's unbelievable, but Keith Richards is now talking about genres he just doesn't get. I really don't like to hear people yelling at me and telling me it's music, a.k.a. rap. I can get enough of that without leaving my house. Ouch. He also, you know, because he's into blues and jazz and, of course, rock. And now he's talking about pop. It's always been rubbish. I mean, that's the point of it. They make it as cheap and as easy as possible, and therefore it always sounds the same. There's very little feel in it. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, we want to hear your new record, and we're very excited about it. But hey, easy. Let's not start just sideswiping people. Easy. 2023 was a year of healing and, of course, moving forward for the Foo Fighters. Obviously losing, you know, Taylor Hawkins and Dave losing his mom. But there could be something more on the horizon. Did you see this teaser they dropped Friday? Teasing something for 2024? I did. And I don't know what, what's going on. I I don't either. Does it mean new mute? What does it mean? I'll check all the boards, Barnes. Please, get back to me on the Foo News. Kelly Clarkson's been in the news a lot. Do you see the boobage audio? I did. The, the boobage audio? I saw the video where... Yeah, the boobage... Yeah, well, the audio video. Yeah, of the boobage and... What happened? I don't know where this concert was, but there was a big screen with her, you know, on the screen behind her, and she was singing and caught, a, you know, a side eye to the screen and realized that uh, her boob was out. <laughs> and, and I mean, she made... <laughs> It's just a quick clip, but you can hear her when she realizes that it happened right here. Wait, hold on. I thought, should I fix it? I think my boob short. <laughs> and then she ran off the stage. She, she never takes herself too seriously. That's what I love about Kelly Clarkson. Uber talented. That is your celebrity sleaze. Oh, yeah, by the way, I just looked at my U2 tickets all along. I thought I was going Friday, and then you just said there was a movie there. I'm going Saturday. That, <laughs> Me too. Well, I'm glad that I told you that on Celebrity Sleaze. The print is small on my ticket. It's very small. You seriously thought you... I thought you I was going... Another, f- no, I'm do gonna, you have a hotel room? Yeah, I'm going Friday after the show, and I thought I was going to the concert that night, but apparently not. I'm going Saturday. Do you have a hotel room for Saturday night? Yes. I was already planning, I mean, staying for the weekend, but I I just literally thought, I was like, oh, it's Friday, because I looked down at the, you know when you see the date, and you're sometimes you're like, oh, that's Friday. Duh. Well, maybe you could get tickets for the uh, Darren Aronofsky movie. Well, thank you for telling me there was a movie there that night, because had I shown up Friday and it was a movie, I would have been a little confused. That is so funny. The Morning X, X. with Barnes and Leslie. 99X.